The majority of your veiled chameleon's diet will always be live feeders, the movements of live bugs piques the interest of your chameleon and causes them to want to hunt, being opportunistic hunters, they will pretty much eat anything that comes along, so it is essential for you only to offer them insects that will be safe for them to eat and will maintain their health. Here are some of the insects that will make up your chameleon's everyday and occasional diet. While that is not necessarily a bad thing, many of these people underestimate the work that goes into owning a pet chameleon and this results in most pet chameleons dying within the first week of purchase, to help you avoid this, I have put together a list of the top 6 mistakes that pet chameleon owners tend to make, I put the free ebook below in the video description, give it a shot and let me know how it goes. 9 Best Feeder Insects for Veiled Chameleons Uabia roaches. Uabia roaches are the best staple feeder for a lot of reptiles, well balanced in nutrients, protein, calcium, and vitamins and come in all sizes, easy to digest and next to no chance of parasite infection when purchased from a reputable supplier. Black soldier fly larvae, black soldier fly larvae, aka nutri grubs, are a great staple, no end to be very high in calcium, they can even take the place of a calcium supplement that does not contain D3, the only real issue stems from the fact that they are tiny, making them difficult to maintain as the main staple for larger reptiles, however, most chameleons love the adult flies. Superworms Superworms are similar to mealworms except that they are higher in nutrients and also lower in chitin, being easier to digest and better for your reptile makes them a staple rather than an occasional feeder like mealworms. Crickets Crickets are well-rounded nutrient-wise, they are readily available and cheap, however, they are not the easiest bug to keep, having an unpleasant smell and dying easily as well as being loud, they can also carry parasites so always watch your reptile for signs of parasite infection and get regular a fecal for your pet when feeding them. See the chameleon care guide for a detailed explanation of all you need to know about this, I put the official website below in the video description. Silkworms Silkworms are high in calcium, protein, and minerals and also low in fat, they also contain a mild analgesic making them great for sick reptiles, they can be challenging to find regularly and too expensive, which makes them difficult to maintain as a regular staple. Hornworms Hornworms are one of the most efficient insects in delivering nutrients to your reptile with no chitin, they are easy to digest, they are low in fat and high in vitamins, protein, and calcium, just be aware they are high in water content, so they are best fed when small and alongside a staple bug that contains less water. Butterworms Butterworms are easy to digest and contain a decent amount of nutrients, however, like waxworms, they are high in fat, they don't contain as much as waxworms, but you still have to be careful when feeding them not to feed too many. Waxworms Waxworms are soft insects that are easy to digest and well balanced nutrient wise, the only issue with them is that they are very high in fat, which makes them more of a treat. Mealworms Mealworms contain an okay amount of nutrients but not as much as supers, they are high in chitin, which can make them difficult to digest, so you have to be careful when feeding them to avoid impaction in your chameleon. Feel free to download our ebook on chameleon care, it will save you hours and hours of frustrating research and will also eliminate the worries and stress that come with reading something online and not knowing whether to trust it or not, it will also make sure that you do not make any mistakes or overlook important facts that could lead to suffering and even death for your pet chameleons, I put the official website below in the video description, thanks for watching.